Hello everybody my name is Rex and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Zoo. In today's episode we will be building a giraffe enclosure. Now this is how the giraffe look. They look pretty cool. They look like giraffes. I don't know how to explain that. But I am using a brand new sky texture pack. It's the same texture pack but with just different settings. I don't know why I said a brand new sky texture pack. That doesn't make sense but as always the add-ons and the texture packs will be linked in the description but first of all before we go any further a big thanks to all the people who did suggest me to do a giraffe enclosure there we go I almost forgot the animals name but yeah thank you all so much for suggesting me the enclosure idea all right so before I get to the main plan I will tell you guys how big the enclosure is this section of the enclosure is 41 blocks weird voice crack this section is 5 this is 10 this is 5 again and this section over here is 40 blocks and it's the same thing on the other sides as well so this makes up I don't know what shape this is but it's kinda like a rectangle with with drop downs but yeah this is how the enclosure looks now the plan for the enclosure is that i will have a platform which is in a t shape like it will start from here but it will expand towards the left and right and what i can do is i can use that to feed the giraffes that is the whole plan so it's a platform for people to feed the giraffes we will have like a pile of leaf at the corners so people can take it and feed the giraffe. I think that's a pretty cool idea. It's like an interactive enclosure where people and animals can, can interact. And that's like the only idea I have right now. But I'm sure we will come up with like different ideas as we go on. Alright, I have finished the platform and the platform is made out of warped wood and the whole reason why I chose warped wood is because I wanted to use a brand new block that we got in the nether update but I didn't know which block we should use so I just went with warped wood but I think it came out really well. Now what I have done is I have added a few leaf blocks around the place to represent the food for the giraffe so basically people can come on the platform take the leaf and feed it to the giraffe 
Now, of course, you can't do that in the game, but you know, we can always use our imagination. And also, I have added these blocks over here, which I will explain the purpose of in a minute. But I have also added acacia trees as well, because I think they really fit the overall theme of the giraffe enclosure. All right. But as you can see, my hand looks different. Now, the reason my hand looks different is because I have a new skin. Now, the new skin is based off a Jojo character named Bucharati. And yeah, there is that. This is going to be my skin for quite some time. And I wanted to tell you guys and I told you guys the end, the end. But what I'm doing over here is I'm adding these pillars where the I have been having these weird, weird voice cracks, which are so annoying. But as I was saying, I have added these blocks where I am building the pillar and this pillar or this pole has leaves on top of it. So basically the giraffes can actually just come here and eat the leaves from here as well. So that is the overall idea of the pole. Now I will be adding few at the corners so the giraffes can eat wherever they want. So I will add some over here and I will also add some over here. So one and two. There we go. Today has been a weird day, especially while I'm trying to record. First of all, it's stupidly cold today. I don't know how it's cold all of a sudden, but it's pretty cold. And for some reason, I am unable to speak today. I have tried recording this clip for so much time and my voice keeps on breaking. If that makes sense, it's not a voice crack. If it is a voice crack, yeah, I can understand that. But my voice genuinely just stops when I'm trying to speak, which is really annoying. So if I do a lot of cuts or I make a weird noise and just stop talking, it's because there is something wrong with my voice. Probably it's because I have tried so much to speak that I am running out of air. But I don't know. I don't know. I need to, I need to solve this problem. But let me add some water over here. And did I award? Wait, what? See, this is exactly what I mean. Did I add water over here? Yes. So basically, this is like small water thingabajingis for the giraffes to drink water from. That is the whole idea behind that pole. So now we have poles for them to drink water from. And now we have poles for them to eat from. There we go. And... That is actually most of the enclosure done. I really don't want to add too many stuff. Now, for some reason, all the giraffes seem to be accumulating. Is that the right word? I don't know. But all the giraffes seem to just stay in one place and have a meeting. I don't think they have heard about social distancing. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add small details like bushes and rocks. And then later, we can add a few more details that I want to show on camera. And then we can kind of finish the enclosure off. I don't want to show me adding bushes and rocks because you guys have seen that like a billion times. And I don't want to keep showing the same stuff again and again. So yeah, I will finish that up and I will meet you guys in a second. All right, so what I have done is I have added some zone, zone, what? I have added some boulders. So there is that, there is one boulder over here. There is one boulder over here. And there is one more boulder right over here. I also added some pot zones around the place to add more texture. And I know I said I will be doing stuff on camera as well. But I just wanted to finish things up instead of dragging the episode even longer. I have added some soul lanterns on the platform. The soul lanterns and the warped wood really go well with each other because they both have the same color tone. 
is that what you call it but they have like the same color tinga tingi right what did i just say man i should really get some sleep but yeah they have like the same colors so they go really well with each other although normal lanterns would be more realistic of course i had to add a foreign log if there is no foreign log then it's not a rectrex enclosure it's it's my trademark and i have used the acacia leaf for the bushes which i think look pretty cool to be honest i have never really seen the acacia leaves up close Oh my god my voice is getting destroyed today but as i was saying i haven't seen the acacia leaves up close but they look really cool i may actually start using the acacia tree leaves even more and i have added two hay bale sections so there is one hay bale section over here and there is one hay bale section over here i'm not sure if there are hay bales in giraffe enclosures but i still added them because why not and i know people are going to be like do the giraffe enclosure does not have enough space for the giraffes to run around and stuff which i totally agree with but like come on this is minecraft we can we can you know do some compromises i also added two more drinking water things so the giraffes can have more water to drink and i am planning on adding two giraffe statues over here like in the sides so it looks pretty cool right when people enter the giraffe enclosure and most of this enclosure ideas actually came from you guys you guys were the ones who suggested me to do this you guys were the ones who suggested me to do this so a big thanks to you guys for suggesting me some amazing ideas i genuinely wouldn't think about these ideas if you guys didn't suggest me i would have just i don't know added a pond and called it an enclosure but yeah thank you so much for giving me these awesome suggestions now i think that is going to do it for this episode of let's build a zoo of course if you guys have any suggestions please let me know them in the comment section below and If you guys have any suggestions or anything to say about the enclosure let me know that as well in the comment section below and we have been gaining a lot of subscribers recently and I don't want to be that guy who talks about like numbers and stuff but I really appreciate all the people who have been like subscribing and watching the videos I genuinely really really appreciate it and to all the people who do comment and stuff like that thanks a lot and yeah that is actually all i have to say so i will meet you guys in the next episode and until next time keep working hard never give up and goodbye